I'm out in Milltown, Delaware. It's uh, Sunday, May 28th, 2018. This is Route 301 out here, and the new bypass for the 301 is coming down uh, not that far from here. But this is our new dairy farm. And I'm just going to do a quick video and kind of walk you through it. So it's about, uh, I forget how many square feet it is, maybe 2,200 square feet. This is where the drive through is on this side, and we're right on the street. So we're really hoping that with the new bypass coming in here and the growth and expansion that we're seeing in Middletown in general, this is going to be a successful store. And if not, we're pretty much screwed. <laughs> anyway, this is the, uh, the front kind of facing the, the street. And you see the uh, typical grill and chill chimney right there. Um, that's all nice stone and our corporate signs going up over there. Once again, the left hand side there is the, is the drive through. I'm just walking around. That store next to us is going to be a mattress store and then there's a bunch of corporate buildings going behind us. And uh, oh, and also in the front here, there's going to be a patio. It's like 30 by 30 for outdoor seating. Does not have a roof over it at this point. We're trying to negotiate possibly adding that in, but pretty much out of money right now. Here's this side where the main doors are on the other side of the drive through. Some additional siding. And I'm just going to do a walk around. And in the back over here is the uh, outdoor uh, cooler, freezer and dry storage and I'll take you through that in a second. So anyway that's a that's an Amazon building way back there. Uh, and once again Middletown is just one of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing county and township in the uh, Delaware state of Delaware right now. So this is the outdoor cooler freezer storage, dry storage that I was telling you about. And we're gonna walk in the uh, the back door here where you get deliveries. Kind of bumpy over here. I gotta watch out. And here's the back of the store. And this is just a small office area in here. And this is gonna be has a bunch of sinks over here. Some storage, there's a freezer. There'll be sinks back over here. Those are hot water heaters up there. And a freezer. And if you come back here, here's the dry storage area I was talking about. Automatic lighting. So it's a huge area with uh, all kinds of shelves that Washerstrom came in and built up. You open this first door here, you come to the cooler. And this is a walk in cooler. Shelves and hopefully that door lets me out otherwise I'll, I'll die in here uh, and then you walk into the next one and this is the walk-in let me lights go on the walk-in freezer so this is where all your uh, freezer stuff goes and this was that part that was kind of broken out in the back that I told you that was an add-on to the building so it didn't take up the square footage just have to push on this thing here. And I'm coming back out this way again. Work my way out. And that's our electrical panel. That thing was 10 grand just for the panel. And now I see why. It's massive. I mean, look at that stuff coming in there. Massive panel. And here's the, uh, the where the workers are working. So back here is where all the the grill and the fryer all that stuff and look at that hood system I remember ordering this hood system from Captive Air I said why does this thing cost 16 grand I was like now I know why it's huge huge uh, that's a brand new Nico broiler for the uh, hamburgers and this is all the uh, sandwich prep stations and you can see out to the dining room, which I'll walk through in a second. So this is a smaller store than we had before. 
The other one we have was like 4,000 square feet. There's a drive through window. So the soda machine goes over there. Order station. And you can see Mike was showing me this. Let's see if I can get that to work. I got to turn that. Just opens up automatically like that. Hoses. It? It's pretty neat. It's a lot. And here's where all the ice cream stations are. So there's soft serve machines aren't in here yet, but the two soft serve machines and all the other cold stuff over here. This is a hole. And then this this has its own outlet over here. So now we're behind the counter. I'm actually behind the counter where our people will be standing to take the orders. Okay. And that's the dining room. And you can see there's still some stuff that let's go keep going here. So if I come out over here, that's the queuing line. That's that front door on the side I showed you about. And then this is the cakes. This is where the cakes go. This is where the soda station is back here in the corner. And there's all going to be seating all the way around. And in this middle section right here, where these these lights here are coming down there's three high top tables and we got two six person seats over there and then boost the whole way down okay walking back over here a couple high tops over here some more booths all the way along this road over here that's going to have some high tops and then finally to the back side you got your men's and women's bathrooms which are pretty good size and very everything's brand new everything so we have the partitions are still going to go in there there's the hand sink and that's going to be probably the urinal right there this is the men's bathroom and then the women's bathroom is very similar over here okay and that's pretty much it that's our new dairy queen in middletown delaware it's supposed to be open in sometime in the middle of July I'm praying that that happens so we can actually get some money coming in <laughs> pay for some of these bills take a look there's my partner Mike <laughs> and here's the front counter area as I'm standing as you walk in